what we have here is the home version. Um, it supports up to six different devices. Uh, these are your low power devices. Um, anything like an iPod or a, an iPhone, Blackberry, you know, anything that's handheld is low power. Um, they have all been retrofitted with these cases that um, have receivers attached to them. So the receiver and the power mat have to make contact. When that happens, a magnetic handshake or an identification process ensues where the mat and the receiver talk to each other. The receiver says, I am this type of device, I require this amount of energy, and then the energy transfer process begins. Only when the mat and the receiver are in immediate proximity does energy begin to transfer. Okay, by means, by the way, of magnetic induction. So what we use here is a phenomenon that's been around forever. Um, you know, when you switch between AC and DC currents, you get a magnetic field. It's been, it's been around forever, and that's we're capitalizing on magnetic induction. Come over to the next one. This is our bedside mat. This can support up to three different device, low-power devices. Um, you know, this is an iPhone, this is a Blackberry, this is a, a, a cell phone with which we've embedded power mat technology. Um, and uh, again, three different devices that are all supported by power mat. Um, when you take the device off or place the device on, did you hear that noise? Okay, this, that's the authentication process. You'll see that you'll get an LED that lights up to let you know that powering has begun. You'll also hear that noise, and because it's magnetic, you'll also feel a pull that sort of, you know, aligns the two, the device along with the mat. So there you go. Um, again, another, another model that we put out um, for, for the desk uh, that can support both high and low power devices. Perhaps the most exciting model that we use, however, is this one over here. And this is the travel model. Um, the travel model is, you know, the most innovative, probably the most uh, asked for model that we've encountered so far. Because when people travel, they ordinarily do so with an array of devices. With a Blackberry, with a cell phone, with an iPod, you know, with a ca digital camera, uh, with your children, with your child's PSP. And, you know, you have to, for each of those, you have to carry a dedicated charger or docking station. And it gets to be cumbersome and also, you know, um, tricky to find outlets to charge each one of them. So we've put together a travel version, which is this. And the travel version folds up, fits into your pocket, fits into your luggage, or fits into a case. Um, and all you have to do, instead of carrying dedicated chargers for each one of those, you carry one charger, um, the power mat, you unfold it, and it supports all of your devices. Now, remember I told you that power mat charges both high and low power devices, okay? So for low power devices, we've taken these jackets that I showed you, the cases, and we fitted them with receivers. For high power devices, because it's sort of cumbersome to pick up your computer and put it on the power mat, we have these power disks. The power disks come with any number of um, plugins of different adapters that fit into a variety of different computers. This one is a typical model, you know, standard Dell computer, and it's powered through the uh, power disk that sits on to on the um, on the power mat. So you'll see that when I put it on here and it makes contact, um, powering starts. If I take it off, you'll see that it just lowers down, powers down. Okay. Um, Jin is going to show us a number of different applications for power mat. Um, essentially, because it works by magnetic induction rather than electricity, uh, there's no electrical current that's, that, that's being sent, so there's no, there's no possibility of electrocution. So this is a power mat enabled surface, a kitchen counter. Here we can show you where we are have power coming through. You have magnetic energy creating power. It's safe to use in water. You can see here, no problem for me to go in here. There's no electricity, no danger for me touching it. Still works when I take it out. This here shows you where we've um, embedded the power mat technology in the appliance. And then from here, you can see I can move this, I can run a 300 watt appliance. No cords, nothing. Completely safe. Okay, this here, this is a demonstration I can show you. It's so safe to use in water. I have a corded appliance with a floating socket. Literally, put the socket over. No problem to have it right in the water. Okay, and then we can take you over here and show you the desktop. 
This is the future of technology. What's going to happen is that we will have furniture that will be embedded with the power mat technology and inside all of the different um, appliances here on the table we also have power mat technology. So we have here a, a stereo speaker system, a docking station running off of the power mat technology, no wires, a laptop sitting on your desktop being charged, no wires. You can see here we have a lamp as well, no wires, but being powered by the power mat technology. Also, we're also working with suppliers, OEM suppliers, to you know have our power mat technology built directly inside the device, so you can simply, you know, place it on here to charge. Um, we talked about the technology and the fact that it's RFID, which means radio frequency technology. What that essentially allows us to do is to take the technology, and it's so thin that it can be printed even on a piece of tape. It's the same technology that you use when you check out at the grocery store, when they scan your items. Take a look through here, and you'll see that the technology itself is very smooth, very thin, right? And that's all it takes to power mat enable an entire wall. And now, Eric is, Eric is going to show you that this wall has been enabled with power mat. What that means is that he can pick up a sconce, put it against the wall, and it's powered directly through the wall. You don't like where it was, you moved it in another spot, it's fine. The same thing goes for the television, which I have dropped more times than I care to let you know, but the television is only connected by two uh, um, uh, hangers on top, by two screws. No, no wires, no plugs, no nothing. So when you pull it away from the wall, it turns off. And all you need to do in order to power it up again is turn it on. And it's on. Okay? All right. The same thing is true of Marilyn, the picture frame. If you move her, she turns off. You move, put her back. You know, all, all it is is, is um, power mat technology. Um, this is the, another application that we're looking into that's a pretty exciting application. Um, essentially, it is uh, power mat enabling the console of your car. Um, and it makes sense because GPS systems, you know, you can, people talk on their phones in the car, people utilize all sorts of handhelds in their car. And that's certainly something that we're looking toward the future as well. Thank you very much. I'm Scott Eisenstein, the Vice President of Marketing for PowerMat, and, um, and, and, and I appreciate your interest in, in wireless technology.